I'd highly suggest going to check out Black Sabbath's song, Under the Sun. It's not known to, uh, I guess, more mainstream. Most people have heard of War Pigs and Iron Man, but if, if you're a true Black Sabbath fan, you know Under the Sun. But it is one of the best Black Sabbath songs. Go check it out. Black Sabbath, Under the Sun. It, it will blow the classical music out your butt. Rocks. Where are we? The Miracle Mile! Yay! It's everybody who's got to have this miracle! Where at, though? American yeah, River College like track. And we're going to watch <laughs> Joey run a sub eight minute mile. I'm uh, Joey Shepard. Untamed strength, powerlifter, fat as fuck. Joey bags a donut. Single. I'm um, gonna run a. <laughs> um, about to run an under eight minute mile because no one believes in me uh, to show that fat people can run. I weigh like 258, 260 right now. Perfect. Best squat is 507, bench was 400, and then best deadlift was 620. It's gonna be irrelevant today. I would hold. Okay, what's on the line here? What's at stake? Uh, so we made a bet with Joey that if he can run under eight minutes, then we are all gonna chip in and buy him breakfast. We're gonna buy him a pizza and a bottle of his choice of booze. And when he fails to do the eight minute mile, he has to actually sign up for the strongman competition in January. And he's never touched a strongman implement in his life. Okay. All need to show up, what's up? Sounds like a horrible trade off. <laughs> um, I don't know, I'm gonna pick some pretty expensive booze. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our cup now. If you ever get hurt and you feel that you're going down, this little angel is going to whisper in your ear. He's going to say, Get up, you son of a bitch! Joey, I'm most proud of the fact that you had a timer in your hand. You knew you weren't getting eight minutes, but you still finished. Supportive of untamed strength. 
Put it up. Put it up. Got to open the most. That's right. Yes. Cardiovascular health is good for you guys. Just as a warning. At what point did doubt creep in? <laughs> Halfway through the second lap, I had a pace I needed to keep. I kept on the first lap. My third and fourth lap about went about how I thought they were going to, but my second lap was about 40 seconds too slow. And if I was within range, I probably would have gone a little bit faster on the last lap. And what did you rate this on the RPE scale? Yeah. RPE? Uh, RPE is a myth. Uh, um, no, probably a, close to a 10. I don't even think I could do another lap. I'm fat, out of shape. <laughs> Any time, any, any time, any time anybody says that they don't know they could do something, we would just tell them what would Joey do. But I didn't. <laughs> no, but you went your all. So. But you tried really hard. You gave it everything. And that's what counts. Are you Usain Bolt, Are you or I mean Joey. <laughs> what'd, you end up, what'd you end up getting? Um, for your post run steak meal. With a waffle and eggs on top. You know, I deserve it to treat myself. I, I deserve it to treat myself after that uh, grueling marathon. Hey, so I'm so proud of you that I'm going to waive your entry fee and I'll pay for your USS membership. Hey girl. Pretty girl. What's up everybody? So I want to show you a grip that I've been using for the bench press that I find helpful and maybe you will too. So I've been doing a lot of pressing for the last several months leading up to my competition, my strength lifting meet that I did, which was the squat press deadlift. So I was pressing every day, uh, four days a week, and I grab the barbell a certain way when I press, a little bit different than when I bench press. Now that I'm benching again, benching every day, four days a week, uh, I find myself naturally wanting to grab the barbell uh, the same way that I did when I pressed. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. It's an actual grip called the bulldog grip. So most people will grab the barbell deep in their hands or high in their hands, close to their fingers with uh, bent wrists, with their wrists extended like this. So to take this bulldog grip, what you should do instead is place the barbell closer to the heel of your palm, right on top of your forearm bones, your radius and ulna. And then from there, what you're gonna do is point your index fingers in towards each other so that the barbell is resting across this crease. So you're here, angle the index fingers in towards each other, and then you're going to put your fingers right on top of the barbell, slightly over the barbell, so that they're pinching like this. Don't just grab the whole bar like that because it's gonna change your wrist position. So once your hands are in position here, place your fingers on top and pinch, push down as hard as you can with your fingertips. And what this does, well, let me show you what it looks like when I unrack the bar. So here, I wrap my thumbs around. Now, what this does, uh, a couple of things. The first thing that it does is that it puts your wrist in the correct uh, amount of extension. So when you bench, you need to have your wrist bent and extended like this, but it shouldn't be excessive to where the barbell's back in your hands like this, this is gonna cause, could cause some wrist pain. If you're experiencing wrist pain, this might be why. But what it also does is the force that you're trying to transfer through your forearm bone into the bar is not as efficient when the bar's way back here. You want the bar close to your forearm bones. Obviously, we're not gonna grab the barbell with a completely flat wrist, because that would put the barbell, could put the barbell slightly in front of those bones. So you do have to extend your wrist a little bit. It just shouldn't be overextended. By grabbing with the bulldog grip, you're able to keep your wrists a bit straighter. Nice job, no seaboning them. Where are you coming from, Sam? Uh, Melbourne, Australia. Uh, just just holidaying here in Sacramento. Came to see a couple of the gyms, Untamed, Super Training. You know, nice. the big else? ones. Um, not in Sacramento. I might go down to LA uh, and try out some of the the bigger ones down there, Gold, Muscle Beach, and then 
barbell brigade to culture and all that. Nice, awesome. When's your competition? You're doing a strongman competition soon? Yeah, January 7th, uh, Victoria's Strongest Man. So uh, my state, Victoria, uh, down the south of Australia. Uh, so that strongest man. Is this your first competition? No, it'll be, I think my fourth competition now. Okay, cool. Yeah. Nice, man. Awesome. What other events are, uh, what are they doing at that competition? Uh, axle deadlift for reps. Um, so the dumbbells for reps as well. Uh, there is a loading medley, uh, a yoke, and a farmer's. Cool. Thanks, man. Well, good luck. Thanks for coming in, dude. Thank you very much. Wraps, and then, oh, these are long. And then you're, uh, you're right-handed? Yep. Okay. So you're going to, the dumbbells are going to be cutting in your forearm like that. And so you, it's, it's good to build these up probably like that. Okay. So it's right around that spot so that it, so that's probably pretty good. So when you're up like this, the inside edge of the dumbbells will be pressing on that. Okay. So let me see what you're doing already. See if I can help you out. Pretty good, man. That looks pretty damn good. Uh, yeah, it no, doesn't matter. What's your good side? I have to know. One other thing that this does, the, the bulldog grip does that I really like, is that it helps me flare my elbows out a little bit quicker. I made a video already about where to start during the bench press, where to touch, um, and I'll link that video up in the top right hand corner of this video. Uh, but when you start, the barbell has to start over your shoulder joint, it has to be directly over your shoulder joint. Obviously we don't lower the bar down in a completely straight vertical line, because if you did, that would cause your elbows to be out at 90 degrees to your body might impinge some soft tissue here in your shoulder. So to fix that, we tuck the elbow a little bit and that brings the bar down lower on your body rather than pressing it right at your shoulder joint. So you start over your shoulder joint, you lower down to your uh, spot on your chest or your body and that's a natural tuck of the elbows. Then you press back to your shoulder joint. So there's a natural tuck and flare that happens with your elbows. And when I used to grab the bar a little bit deeper in my hands and probably over tuck my elbows, I would press and I would get stuck and a rep would turn into a grind that probably shouldn't have or I'd just fail and miss a rep because I couldn't get the bar back over my shoulder. But when, you, when I take the barbell with the bulldog grip, it kind of helps as I still tuck my elbows in. Once I press, my elbows will quickly flare out and the bar gets pressed back over my shoulder joint and, and makes it easier to lock out. So I find that it's helpful. Uh, I'm not saying that everyone should use this. There are plenty of good bencher, bench pressers who don't use a bulldog grip, but it works for me. So try it out. If you find that your wrists move around a lot when you bench, or if you're getting a lot of wrist pain, the bulldog grip might help you. Now, be careful. When you place the barbell like this in your hand, the brunt of the weight is being held on your ulna. It's being pushed on your ulna, not so much your radius. But your ulnar nerve is here. So just be careful not to smash your ulnar nerve when you're uh, benching. Nothing catastrophic is going to happen, but you're going to feel a lot of pain in that area when you're benching and you're not going to be able to think about the bench. You're going to be so concerned with the pain. So make sure that's not pushing onto that. If it is, just adjust your grip a little bit. Okay, one more. Hey, what are you doing, Polka? Come here. Are her lady parts covered? <laughs> She's decent. She's decent. She's not facing the camera. There you go. How long did you prepare for this event? Uh, I had a powerlifting meeting last weekend, and then I've been drinking since then. Excellent. So haven't ran in at least two years. 